Well, many of us spend a big chunk of our day driving. Whether you have your own car or take a bus, traffic is an unavoidable part of every day. That's right, but as KAG's HD News reporter So Young Kim shows us, the city of Bryan is doing something to change that, hopefully making your commute more efficient. We've all been there, spending too much time sitting in traffic. I live, live out of town, but when we come into town, it's always congested. But the city of Bryan is hoping their new traffic light system will help alleviate problem areas. The computer behind me has a clock, an internal clock, and it can drift. Uh, even if it drifts a few seconds a day, it can throw off timings from one intersection to the next. So now our communication system keeps all of our clocks synchronized. About half of Brian's 66 traffic signals now run on a new wireless system, thanks in part to a stimulus grant the city received in 2010. But some drivers haven't noticed a big difference in traffic flow. Well, pretty much so. It's about like the same waiting time, really. I haven't noticed a difference in the new technology and traffic flows the same. The full cost of upgrades for each intersection is about $250,000. Included in this price tag are new computers, poles, audible crosswalk detectors, and new cameras. Murphy thinks it's money well spent. Anytime that you can relieve congestion on the street, you're doing, you're doing something with our money. Brian eventually hopes to get all city traffic lights on the new system. It's just a matter of funding. In Brian, So Young Kim, KAGS HD News. PICA says plans for five more upgrades are in the works for this year.